Hey guys, so this is, I guess, my proof of concept here. So what I've done, as you can see, is I put a Happy Model EP2 Express LRS receiver on an Emacs NanoHawk X, which I have not seen before. I was struggling with range issues. The SPI receiver would not have enough range to for the video so i'd actually run out of uh, receiver range before i ran out of video range and i wanted to get more out of it i recently switched over to express lrs and i thought it was really cool and with the size of this receiver being so tiny i thought this would be a good way to get extended range out of this um I was looking online, I didn't see anyone that had this up, and I hadn't seen that anyone had done this before. I couldn't see anything about SPI receivers and being able to put an Express LRS receiver on there, but what I did was kind of follow tutorials um, that I saw for TBS Crossfire and also for um, Express LRS and some SPI upgrades, and this is what I came up with. So. With the EP2, in some cases, not every case, you have to swap out. So the last one there, this solder pad is supposed to be TX, and this one here is supposed to be RX. And of course, you have your 5 volt and ground there. And the ground always has the two extra pads next to it, so you'll know when you orient it. Now... When I did this for my Protec 25, the TX pad went to the TX pad and the RX pad went to the RX pad. With this case, I actually had to put the TX, as you can see here, on T2. and the RX pad on R1 because on UR2 you have the smart audio running and typically what you would do is have the TX on the same one as the UART so that's what I did. I put the receiver on R1 which was an open UART and then put the TX on T2, which was the one that is on the smart audio. And of course, you do the 5 volt and ground over here, which you had open pads, and everything works.